say, okay, they surveilled you. They knew you were going to go to Hawaii, so they got it uh, set ahead of time because they were monitoring your phone calls. Oh, okay, but I didn't tell anyone, you know. Um, it was not, um, you know, but I suppose, you know, it could have been surveilled. But my feeling about it is, is that uh, they're able to know who you are devoid of any kind of equipment because of the whole psychical link there's of, of all these people, which is spiritual. Okay. They couldn't do that unless they had this, um, devil in them, this demonic presence within them. They couldn't have the demonic presence within them unless they did rituals, because that's the only thing that's going to give them the sheen of this light glow that occurs to them. When they do a ritual, they get a light glow. The glow doesn't refract light. It's just, it's a glow that you can, you can actually detect on them. No, it's not their aura. You know, it's a demonic sheen that, that, um, that comes to people that serve the, the dragon. Okay. And so that's the common bond that all of them have together. They are psychically linked as well as with cell phones and computers and they, they can move very quickly and they're a global network. That's the other thing. And they're in every town, everywhere, you know, and, and they're, they're more ubiquitous than uh, most people think they are. And um, they are going to individually, each one that participates, his life or her life will be ruined. They will die a horrible death with horrible disease. And they are in store for nothing but hell on earth because Yahweh will repay them Ten times what they've done. And I can tell you that I've seen them suffer, go blind, have diseases, get cancer, left and right. I've, I dine with my stalkers. I, I'm, I'm pretty far beyond the TI um, capability in terms of understanding. I'm far beyond you because, look, if you have been through this since you were five years old, by the time you're in your mid-50s, you would have much more experience than most people because you didn't die. That makes me an expert. I mean, a total expert. Plus, because I've been successful, that makes me an accomplished spiritual warrior. You know, make no mistake, I know more than, than most people know. Because the people doing research will never figure out what I already know. Because that's not the way you find out. You find out through experience. My entire life is dedicated to destroying this entire network on the earth. And I will see it in my lifetime. If that means the earth is going to go through a calamity and a lot of people are going to die because of some natural disaster, fine. Fine. The earth would be better off without them, even if we die along with them. That's how dedicated I am. Um, no, no, I, you'd never, you know, you never see me picking up any weapon against anyone. And, and the only weapon I pick up is the word of God. That's my weapon. I mean, because then you can deal with whole countries, whole kingdoms. See, I don't just, uh, I would never get involved. You can't. I don't fight anything in the flesh. I fight everything in the spirit. The flesh, the Bible says the flesh profits nothing. Okay, understand that. You cannot fight this reality in the flesh because it's not flesh. It's spiritual. So I hope that you understand that you need to fight it spiritually and you can't fight it any other way. You can go map it out find their satellites, find their computers, find their cell phones, follow people around, put it on YouTube, and you'll never figure it out because it's going to come at you from the demonic, from the, uh, from the spirit. And, you know, my most recent incident of having of the truck thing, that's, that's gang stalking 101, just textbook case that, you know, you could actually study that in school, how it got organized, how they did it, why they did it, who, who was an enabler, who was covering it up and who was actually a perpetrator. Um, you know, I got it all mapped out. 
I didn't get videotape on it. I can't prove it. But if I ever do get videotape, yeah, it's right on YouTube. I think all that's great. Fine. Do all that. You know, fight it in the flesh all you can. Get, get information. Get facts. Get evidence. But you're talking about a reality here that go, is beyond the natural. The protection they have is beyond natural. It's supernatural. It cannot be fought with natural means. It can, you can help. But you have to know at the end of the day, it's the spirit that trumps flesh every time. The flesh is but an illusion. The spirit is what's real. And we have it backwards. Okay. And um, yeah, uh, a strong belief in the Lord God, Yahweh, the creator, will lead to belief in his son, Yeshua, Jesus, the, the logos, the word. And then that will lead to a fervent belief in the Bible which uh, the Bible has got everything you need in there to survive. I mean, it, it deals with this subject extensively. King David suffered from it. Um, Israel itself, Jerusalem suffered from it because the whole hierarchy there was run by the... Oh, yes. Oh, the gang's talking. Where's it come from? It's run by covens, by witches, by a sisterhood, ultimately, that you can't see that will never be tied to it. You'll never be able to understand that. That you will not, that you cannot understand right now. But that's the way the world has been run for thousands and thousands of years, and it's no different now than it was then. The same stocking that went on then goes on now, only with, you know, high tech toys, but it's the same thing. They didn't, you don't really need cell phones because spirit's faster than uh, a cell phone. The psychic link is plenty fast. You know, I've had people that I was, they were afraid to pray with me because they knew they would be heard, you know. Uh, yes, a lot of people have implants. Sure, okay, fine. But implants are not necessary to track you. You don't, the tracking that goes on, you don't need implants. They're already way ahead of that. The implant is behind. They're way ahead of it. They already know where you're going to be because their bosses exist in the future. I know that's sci-fi, but it's true. And that's why they have perfect surveillance because they're existing in a fourth and fifth dimension and in the future. So wherever you're going to go, even if you just decide you'll go there, they're there. Even if you didn't tell anyone. Um, but at the same time, you know, no, I don't think it's all, all Americans. And I, I think a lot of people in America, you know, are satanic enablers without really realizing it. I mean, they're in on it, yes, but they don't know what it is. It's just weird. They just don't want to get hurt themselves, so they just kind of look the other way. Okay, you got a lot of people like that in this country. Unfortunately, the majority. Look what's happening to them. They're getting socialism. They're getting tyranny. They're getting a dictatorship because they don't deserve freedom. So freedom's being taken away from them, and I'm here witnessing it. And the reason it's being taken away is because so many people are involved in this organized evil. And even if they don't know what it is they're involved in, they're all playing their part. And that's why Yahweh will destroy the nation. If, if necessary, well, and they'll be destroyed economically. Absolutely. That's how it will be destroyed. And then people just kill each other in the streets over a piece of bread. If that's what it takes, perfect. Anyone that's a part of this know that whatever you do, it's going to come back on you. So every stalker is going to meet with a horrible death, a horrible, horrible death. Even if they repent, they will still have a horrible death because, you know, just like a guy that murders somebody, he's going to go to death row and he's going to suffer a horrible death, a hanging. He's going to go through the death. Even if he gives his heart to the Lord, he's still going to have to pay for what he did. They're still going to have to pay for what they did. And they do pay. Believe me, I've, I know that you think that they don't have justice, but the Lord meets out the justice. You're not going to see the Justice Department of the United States meet out the justice on bullying, which is organized bullying. There was a kid that blew himself away, nine years old, and he was being bullied. He was being stalked. People learn this in school. This is high school is a great place. For they, they bullied him into committing suicide. Nobody's in jail. Nobody got in trouble, and even the principal didn't get suspended. Another guy in Oakland, a uh, teacher um, organizes his classes, stripped down naked in front of each other and performs sex acts at their second graders with him present and watching and cheering it on. He's a pedophile. 
What had happened to him? He's not arrested. He was simply suspended. His name withheld. And the idea, you know, what kind of society do you live in? Uh, This is it. This is your liberal society. This is what's happened. And, you know, so where does the gang stalking come from? Okay, where was it perfected? Well, it was perfected in the Soviet Union. It was perfected in China. Joseph Stalin perfected it. You know, microphones on every corner, perfect surveillance, which is basically satanic. It's Satan's way of having omnipresence, which we talked about yesterday with Mike Horsey, using technology to have omnipresence and in a false imitation of God, who is omnipresent, who is everywhere at, at the same time. So, again, the only way you fight the reality. No, I mean, you know, they, they, they have it sewn up. I mean, you have to join them. You know, Satanists and gang stalkers are synonymous. And they're all beholden to their different covens, and then they fight each other as well. Uh, you may not know that. The gang stalkers also stalk each other. You didn't know that. Well, they do. There's different groups and factions, and yes, they go after each other, just like gangs. There are different gangs that hate each other, and they're always after each other. That's, go- that's another layer that's going on that has nothing to do with you, as a, quote, T.I., unquote. A T.I. simply means that spiritually Yahweh made you as one of us and not one of them. That's all it is. And they pick that up when you're in, in grade school. And that's how, that's how you're chosen, if you will. It's a spiritual choice. It has nothing to do with just, you know, okay, you're a pretty girl and they just want to rape you. I mean, there is, there, there is that, but that's not, you're not chosen because you're a pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Or what they really like are underage girls. Or underage boys, for that matter. 